it's time for the program program. MSU TV's only show bringing you a close look at academic programs at Moorhead State University. On tonight's episode, Professor of Sociology and Director of MSU's Gender Studies program, Bernadette Barton, and MSU Gender Studies student, Kat Haggard. And now, the host of the program program, John Modaff. Thank you, Tim. Bernadette Barton is a Professor of Sociology and Gender Studies here at Moorhead State University. She's here with us on the program program to talk about gender studies, the minor, and the area of emphasis published numerous articles in distinguished journals in the areas of sociology and sexuality. She's the author of several books, one soon to be published on raunch culture, which we'd love to talk about for an entire program, and we may someday. But she also wrote Stripped, More Stories from Exotic Dancers, and Pray the Gay Away in 2012, The Extraordinary Lives of Bible Belt Gays. Professor Barton writes and lectures on contemporary issues in gender, sexuality, religion, culture, and the sex industry. She also directs the Gender Studies program here at Moorhead State, and that's what we're here to talk about. Welcome, Dr. Barton. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, John. Well, thank you so much. If you were to describe gender studies as an academic area to somebody who'd never heard about it before, what would you, how would you even start? Well, that's a big question. So if you consider the way gender colors every aspect of your life, so you think about the ways in which we are women and men, and some of us are intersex, and some of us are transgender. Um, and that shapes all of our social interactions, and it shapes how institutions treat us. So gender is central to our experience of family, our experience of the workplace, our experience of religion, the media, you name an institution, I'd be like, okay, we can see something gendered in there. Mm -hmm. So gender studies explores all that, so that a gender studies minor learns about their life in a new way. Um, and gender studies minors distinguish between sex, which is our experience of our biological sex, and gender, which is the social construction. Um, and we also look at sexual orientation, so the lives of LGBT people. Um, one of the things that's so exciting about being a gender studies minor is that folks overwhelmingly say when they graduate with this set of courses under their belt that they find that their lives are truly transformed. It has a transformative impact on their experience of their life and how they see the world. Mm -hmm. So gender becomes this nexus for a lot of discussions of broader sociological issues. It's not just restricted. No, it's to... not just restricted to gender. We use gender as a leaping off point. But the most cutting edge and probably one of the most used theories right now uh, in uh, gender studies is intersectional theory. And intersectional theory explores the way that identity shape us. So not just our gender, but our race, our class, our sexual orientation, our level of ability. All those intersect in our lives to constrain our opportunities or to enhance them. Mm -hmm. And we explore what that means to us personally and how this affects people um, in different social communities. Yes. Now, in exploring these questions and issues, you get out in the field a fair bit. You're oh, yes. interviewing, you're observing, and mm -hmm. to a degree, maybe even participating in certain settings. I am a gendered access. person, too. There you go. <laughs> so there you are. You're, uh, you're comfortable, I'd imagine, after all of these years researching and doing ethnographic mm -hmm. work. Is there a quality among students or in a given student who might be interested that will help them to manage and to endure the challenges of field work in this area? Um, well, what's very useful to have if you're interested in being a gender studies minor or doing gender studies research is kind of like what's good if you're a major in many different disciplines. It's good to be curious. It's good to be fair. I guess maybe one thing that's also helpful with gender studies is this commitment to uh, being kind, <laughs> you know, to letting people off the hook, letting yourself off the hook, because gender studies uh, and the word feminist in particular gets a lot of negative press. So you've got to be willing to ex to be able to behave with integrity and dispel stereotypes. And so that combination of qualities with curiosity, kindness, fairness, willing to do original thinking, all that helps if you're interested in gender studies. That's a handful. But I'm sure there are folks out there who are oh. interested in ABLE. You've seen them. In fact, we're oh, going to visit yeah. with one of them in the second half of the program today. I would say today. most of the students have these qualities, to be honest. Yes. 
And this sounds like a great opportunity for people to attach to other majors. What mm -hmm. is, uh, to, before we wrap up, what might be a few majors where a gender studies minor would be a good fit in your view? I think gender studies is a good fit with any major, but we cross list courses in sociology, English, philosophy, nursing, communications, criminology, social work. We cross list across the board. So you can find a home for yourself in gender studies and it is an appealing, um, field of study for employers too because it shows that you have a better developed sense of ethics and diversity and that makes you a better employee to folks in fields like government, um, the healthcare, education, social services. Fantastic. Bernadette Barton, Professor of Sociology, Director of the Gender Studies Program. Thank you for coming on the program program. It's been a pleasure. That's a lot of programs to say in one sentence but I did it. There's the camera. We're going to be back right after this break as Casey interviews Kat Haggard gender studies student. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the program program. My name is Casey and I'm here with Kat Haggard, a sociology major and gender studies minor. Hi Kat. Hi. It's good to have you. It's good to be here. So you were saying that you're a senior, right? Yes, I'm a senior and I plan on going to graduate school um, next year, not next semester, next year, for either a sociology um, master's program or um, at Louisville they have a women, gender, and sexuality studies um, mm -hmm master's program that I could go into also. Okay. Yeah, Still you decided. said, um, while we were out there, like before we started rolling, you said that you won an award as a junior that was meant for seniors? Yeah, it was the Most Excellent Sociology Student Award. It was just a little thing. Um, whoever showed the um, greatest academic success, and like I do undergraduate research too, that, that helped. So you're just that good that you got an award that you didn't even qualify. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so you're, since you're a sociology major, how do you feel that gender studies is going to help you with your major in your career? Well, a lot of the, um, right now, a lot of the courses in gender studies are cross-listed. So mm -hmm. I was already kind of taking gender studies courses with my sociology major and I developed it more and got into like the intro and I'm going to take the capstone next semester. Mm -hmm. It all is focused on um, studying privilege and studying minority status and studying how to make the social sphere better. I study a lot on health. Um, I, right now I'm doing research on toxic masculinity mm -hmm. and I'm looking at how it affects the health of trans males because we know that um, there are different social determinants of health between men and women, but how does that go into the um, trans sphere? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And as that stated, gender studies is exactly that in sociology is um, just the major that I have. Yeah, because I was, I was reading up on it and it didn't, um, gender studies isn't just about gender. I was reading that it's also about, you know, race and yeah. um, really any minority, right? Yeah, any um, demographic that puts you um, at a disadvantage or even we study at an advantage, we study privilege and all that kind of stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. Just what about you makes your social um, life different? Okay, so you know that like, Gender studies um, usually has a stereotype that women only do it or like mm -hmm. any really feminine gender. How do you think that like gender studies would benefit all genders? Well, like I said, um, it's study. It is studying all genders. Mm -hmm. We go into queer theory and trans studies and stuff. So it's not just studying um, the history of women. We do that in intro. And um, the reason we do that is because women were a minority status and still are a minority status, um, but we want to see that history. And then we add on the different layers of intersectionality. We add on race, we add on ability, um, all these different things. And we just want to see like all around. So it would be good for men to take that so that they could become aware of the privilege. Um, um, it would be good for trans people to take it because we do study, like there are classes, <laughs> especially at Louisville and um, other bigger universities on specifically trans studies and queer theory and stuff. So it's a very, open atmosphere. Mm -hmm. 
So would you um, recommend the specific gender studies minor here at Moorhead State? Absolutely. It has, <laughs> I, I took classes for the program before I was in the program at mm -hmm. all. Like I saw them and wanted to be in those classes. So in all the classes that I've taken have like greatly transformed um, my view of the entire world pretty much. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we will be right back with John Modaff after this. Hi, I'm Jay Morgan, president of Moorhead State University. You're watching MSU TV. So that's the program program this time around. We talked about the gender studies minor at Moorhead State University. You can see on the screen there, Tim's going to show you some more information on how to get in contact if you're interested for yourself or for somebody else. Thanks to our guests. And before we go, Casey, tell us about our next program program. We will be doing a show on the photography minor, so you all should definitely stick around for that. Fantastic. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, everybody, and thank you. Mm -hmm. So long. For more information about the Gender Studies program at Moorhead State University, email Dr. Bernadette Barton at b.barton at moreheadstate.edu.